एस चांद प्रेजेंट एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एज पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम in the previous topics of pointers we have studied about how to declare the pointers how to fetch the values from the pointers what is generic pointer how generic pointers can be used in the continuation of those topics to, uh, and here in this topic we will study about pointers and arrays i am dr shriyash atri and these are the some good books from the s chand publishing so in this part we will study about pointers and arrays so what is the relation between pointer and arrays so when an array has created the group of memory location allocated and pointer is made to point these allocations so this is the group of memory allocation this is a pointer index index is 0 1 2 3 and 4 and we will insert the values here let the values are 10 20 30 40 and 50 and this the index value this index 0 is having the memory address this one then we just point to be noted here this is the array of integer type okay and 6 4 3 2 3 2 okay now the next index is having the address 3 6 next is 40 that means there is a increment of plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 in every cell it means that thus uh, in uh, this array is of integer type and every cell consists of four bytes so four bytes plus four bytes plus so the address is also increased by four four bytes okay now the name of an array is actually a pointer to the first element of the array understand this it's a very basic thing this is arr the name of an array okay so this arr means what if i say m percent arr 0 that means this is pointing towards this array okay if i say arr 0 a r r zero this is pointing to the value of this array okay if i say or if i say a r r only the name of an array again this is pointing to this address location okay and if i say star a r r okay understand the concept concept of d reference uh, d reference which we have studied in our previous topics of pointers star arr means it is d referencing the address and finding the value that means the meaning of this arr is 10 okay in this position so this is the relation between pointers and arrays so similarly here it is written m percent arr 1 is equivalent to arr plus 1 m percent arr 1 means this one okay and if we are saying now the arr is on the this location if i am saying arr plus 1 that means this particular location plus 1 now my pointer is here if i say arr plus 2 that means from here to this okay if i say 3 then here and so on okay the same thing is and arr 1 a r r 1 that means the value at this particular location the value of at this location is 20 and this 20 we can access from this as well arr plus 1 from the arr is this arr plus 1 is this address now at this address arr plus 1 is this address and we need to fetch the value of this particular address then we need to derefer it and for dereference we need to apply the star or multiplication sign here so it will print the value at this particular address so this is all about the relation between pointers and arrays let's understand with the help of program
so here is a program understand this program include uh, hash include main we are declaring the variables here of integer type i this is the arr variable of array type and here the values are 10 20 30 and 10 20 30 40 and 50 now value of the base address is base address arr okay the name of the array is arr this arr is the name of the array and this arr is also associated with the base address so the address of the first element of an array is the base address okay so we are printing now the value of the base address of percentage d arr okay now we will start from here i equal to 0 i less than 5 i plus plus so now it is going to print in a for loop if we are printing this particular statement so it is going to print the address of each and every location okay uh, value at the address percentage d is percentage d a r r plus i and star a r r plus i so this will print the address and this will print the value at that particular location so here is the output value of base address is so this statement is printing the value of base address this one you can find out this one this is and this is same then this statement gives us value at the address 642232 is 10 that means when my for loop is started from the 0 i is 0 a r r 0 again a r r plus i and i is 0 then again it is denoting to a r r plus i when the i is 0 it is denoting to this one when i is 1 i equal to 1 this is i equal to 2 this is i equal to 3 and this is i equal to 4 ok a r r is this thing and plus 1 this address plus 2 this address plus 3 this address plus 4 this address and here it is going to print all the addresses and star arr plus i is going is printing the uh, value on, on this particular locations now the second is arrays and pointers the address of the base element is assigned to the pointer variable arrays and pointers previously it was pointers and arrays now arrays and pointers the base ad, the address of base element is assigned to ptr pointer variable ptr is arr that is this is the pointer variable pointer variable is always uh, as we know in our previous uh, lectures we have seen pointer variables always save the address of a variable okay so ptr is arr again arr is this thing and this and this both are same the meaning of ptr arr and ptr equal to m percent arr both the statements are having the same meaning and both are allocated to this address this particular address of arr is saved in this or in this so in this program we have assigned the ptr is a pointer variable and m percent arr is equal to ptr that means we are assigning the address of this AR, we are assigning this particular address to the variable ptr now we are entering the five values in an array we are entering all the five values in an array again we, it's very simple we can insert 10 20 30 40 and 50 and this is are the indexes 0 1 2 3 and 4 so value of pointer variable now we are going to print the all the values using the pointer variable earlier we have we have printed the all the values and addresses using the array variable arr okay now here we are going to print all these things with the help of pointer variable address of location percentage d percentage d is i m percent arr i and here you can see the value of pointer variable is ptr okay here we have entered all the 10 20 30 40 and this statement is printing the value value of pointer variable is this one okay pointer variable that means the value at uh, the address of first index value now again we are printing here all the address locations along 
with the uh, values uh, uh, along with the addresses so at the location 0 address is this one so this printf statement in a for loop is printing all these statements address of location 0 is 6 for triple 2 double 4 then 4 8 5 2 5 6 6 0 okay now accessing values of an array using pointer because we are focusing on arrays and pointers now we will again print all these things with the help of pointer so again in a for loop value at address percentage d percentage d we are using the pointer variable now ptr plus i and star ptr plus i earlier we were using the array variable arr okay now here in this array and pointers we are using the pointer variable so ptr plus i this is my ptr from this particular statement now ptr is this one ptr plus i and when the i is ptr plus i when the value of i is 0 it is allocating to this i is 1 then this print this will come when i is 2 this will come and so on and if we want to print the value of, of the, a, every location then again we need to apply the ptr plus i we need to derefer the ptr plus i with the star symbol okay so this statement is going to print these value at address 64 uh, 64 triple 2 4 4 so it is going to print all the addresses along with the values so this is the difference between pointer and arrays and array and pointers uh, I hope the concept is clear to you and the difference between pointers and arrays and array and pointers are clear to you. So this is the end of part 1 in which we have studied the difference between pointers and arrays and arrays and pointers. And in part 2 we will study about how to pass an array to a function and how to access the values. And these are the some good books from the S. Chand Publishing. I hope you are liking this video, so please do subscribe, like and share. Thank you. All rights reserved. This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder.